Hi guys. Last week, right after Malaysia lost to China in the men's singles badminton in the Olympics, Joshua Tong headed to the Daily Devotion group and lamented the heartbreaking loss. We are currently two months into our third and longest MCO so far with no end in sight because the number of cases are going up despite the lockdown. There is no doubt that we are all affected by the COVID-19 virus. Some of us have been infected by the virus itself. Some have had scares because they were close contact and they have had to take multiple tests. I believe we all know at least one person who has been infected or has lost someone to the virus or has lost their livelihood due to the lockdown. When I look at the news and on social media, I see people lamenting the situation that we're in. Some because of health, some for livelihood, economy. Some lament that they cannot go out, dine out, socialize with their friends. Some also lament the political situation in our country. With all this lamenting going on, I was led to the book in the Bible that is dedicated to lament. It's called Lamentations. This book is Israel's laments that it had sinned so much that God had allowed her enemies to overtake her and the terrible condition that it was in. Kingdoms that they were supposed to rule were now ruling over them and their people were suffering. But as I read Lamentations, I find these few verses that to me are the most encouraging and hopeful verses in the whole Bible. Right in the middle of the book of Lamentations. I would like to share that with you today. Lamentations 3, 22 to 25. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. These verses assure me that our Father in heaven is still in control. And with all this uncertainty around us, we can hang on to his steadfast love and his mercies that are new every morning and that will never end. So I would like to encourage you with verse 25, which says that the Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. In this time and season of lament, I would like to encourage you to Wait for him. Seek his face. Draw close to him. Cling on to his steadfast love and never-ending mercies. How, you might ask? Every day, spend time with him. Reading his word, talking to him, talking to other Christians about him. You can do this by joining the daily devotion group which for me has been so great because it points my thoughts back to God at the end of each day. You could join a connect group or the Bible study organized by the church. These are all tools that are available to you to draw closer to our Father in heaven. In these turbulent times, the only thing that is constant apart from change is God. And I pray that you experience his steadfast love and never-ending mercies today.
be blessed.